All right, uh, did some testing. Um, curious about that diode there. So I don't see any way of biasing it on from this side of the page. Uh, there's ground, so the DC path to ground. So the only way to turn that transistor on is to have a negative voltage on, the, on somewhere else, all right? And so I, I measured the voltage uh, here and here, and you get negative, uh, a negative bias on, on, the, uh, on the diode. So it is turned on. So the diode's definitely turned on. And then I measured the output of this uh, C amplifier, or the band one amplifier, and it's giving me minus 10 volts. So that's enough to, uh, to turn that diode on. So I believe that this page is okay for now. Never rule things out. But um, I now want to take a look at the next stage where the nine, minus, minus 10 volts comes from. So this is the RF output. So there is a DC path 470 through a, a uh, inductor, through a 100 ohms, there's a, uh, a biasing on a voltage here, so 10 microfarads holding a, a negative voltage here, and it comes through a 10 ohm, and anyway, minus 20 volts, so it ends up being minus voltage here. Now maybe minus 10 is on the low side here. Maybe this capacitor is bad. I don't know. So let's uh, let's open this up and take a look inside. So I got out some proper proper tools to take those little those little nuts off, and uh, this is what the uh, M10H module looks like. The output amplifier, uh, some input output, and some adjustments. Zoom in a little further. There we go. Um, yeah, it's pretty nice. They really understood RF. Look at these. Look at these resistors down here. I think it's nothing better to point with. Where's my? Where's my blue pointer? So these resistors are actually wrapped in in the metal and then soldered to the board. So they have shielding around them. There's actually some other things like. Uh, where was it? I think it was over on this side. Yeah, there's a... This diode is out in the open, but there's a, a, a diode, I think, here that's shielded. It has, has a tube on it. Uh, yeah, very cool stuff. Um, really, really cool stuff. So anyway, uh, this is the input side and this is the output side. Um, so the input comes here and goes through a 44.7 or 47, probably 47. Yeah, a 47, 47 and an inductor to ground. Um, and that's what we see here, 47 inductor to ground. Then it goes through a magic diode. And at first I couldn't even see the diode. And it's that little blob of solder there. There's a tube soldered down and there's a diode that goes to there. So then the signal comes to here and then there's another tube and a diode. Anyway, the signal comes in over this away. And uh, yeah, it goes to this thing. There's a cool transformer in the middle of it. Um, yeah, a lot of stuff going on in here. Uh, here's what the other side looks like. Um, like I say, maybe, maybe one of these. A C14. See, there's no markings on the other stuff either. There's no way to me, for me to know which one's C14 on the, <laughs> on the modules. A couple of them are marked in the in the in the surface guide, but 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 several are not marked in the service guide. So, yeah, that's uh, that's definitely a shame. Anyway, I'm going to be poking around on this for a while, try to figure out what's going on. Um, it does seem as though this amplifier is introducing too much harmonics on a spectral trace. Um, so it makes me think this is maybe a little bit sick. The only thing that I can maybe guess right now is that um, when loaded down, this no longer operates. So when you load down the output, it's no good. 
and when you free up, when you just have a high impedance output, the thing sort of works, but there's a lot of harmonics on it. So yeah, so maybe the output transistor is funky or something along the way. There's some pretty wild res uh, transistors in here. Uh, SD1006, never heard of it. SD1006, yeah, never heard of it. So uh, let's see, that's on the output side of things. This is the output side of things. So these are the, imagine having to work on this. These are the two transistors here. They're, they're actually TO5 cans and they're actually soldered down onto the board. So if those are bad, it's all 3D wired here. And oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, it's going to be bad. So, <laughs> yeah, I guess I will go in here and see if these things are still transistors or not. Try to try to make sure and see if they have any diodes on them. Uh, that would be, I guess, a good first step. Um, I don't know. It's from the documentation I have and the symptoms I've got. I'm just not not quite sure yet. I thought maybe you'd like to take a little bit closer look. So here's a, like I said, this is the, uh, the input section over here. And uh, that's one of the diodes I was talking about. And that little tube there is a diode. There's a diode not in the tube. And it's the input section. And then over on this side is the output section. There's the resistors here and tubes. Those are the two transistors there. There's a bunch of funny uh, stuff going on around it. Yeah. Oh dear. Oh dear.